This is Twit. 911 recordings reveal <laughs> there is Oops, a problem. Can at this? <laughs> you can giggle at this. You thought iPhone 10 screenshots were a problem. You had no idea. <laughs> there is a problem. Houston, we have a problem at the new Apple campus. Uh, apparently, the San Francisco Chronicle's done an investigation and has c dug up some 911 calls like this one. Uh, I walked into a glass door on the first floor of Apple Park when I was trying to go outside. That's a January 4th 911 call. Two other calls made two days earlier, January 2nd, which was the day Apple employees started moving in. We had an individual who ran into a glass wall pane and they hit their head. An Apple caller said on one of the calls, they have a small cut in their head and they are bleeding, slightly disoriented. The other caller, we had an employee, he was on campus, he walked into a glass window hitting his head. Has a little bit of a cut on the eyebrow. None life-threatening, nor requiring a hospital visits. But the Chronicle is reporting that a city official in Cupertino, where the headquarters is located, had warned Apple about the risk of absent-minded employees walking into glass walls and doors. They have to be employees marked. looking at their phone. Well, they have, you know what, if you if you have these doors, and we've had them at, you know, for years, glass, sliding glass doors in California, every house has them, you put stickers on them, right? Yeah, they, they were putting stickers up uh, the, the last time I was there, which was months ago. It's probably just a huge building, um, and they didn't have all the stickers in the right place. It's the same, I don't know if it's a stickler or a stencil, it's the same thing you see in the glass Apple stores, where they have sort of that frosted look uh, at a round eye level when you walk towards yes. the walls. Yeah. It's required by California's Code of Regulations. Um. You have to identify and address hazards in the workplace. <laughs> I've walked into these walls. It's not funny. It isn't. If I, it's damaging. No, I've, I've, I haven't done that at Apple, but I've, I've done that myself at a, at a place at Twilight where they didn't. Yeah, the, there's a door to the left. There's, a door, there's entrance to the left, entrance to the right. There is just a wall, this floor to ceiling pane of glass in the middle with nothing on it. Yeah, I've, I've, that, the, one of these bumps here is because of that. Yeah. Nobody went to the hospital. Nobody was seriously injured. Apparently, it's, some, it's bird, some, bird, some birds a, have been seriously injured, <laughs> yeah. but no humans. Yeah, we, we've had we've had uh, folks get bloody noses. At, yeah. at, you know, at clients, you know, you go not 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 at apples, but at, at, at there's a lot of clients that we have that have a lot of glass in a lot of their in a lot of their um, offices. And we've definitely we, we had one client that had almost all glass everywhere, and you know one of our guys took a hit hit the glass really hard, you know, and uh, and so it's it's a it's a pretty common problem with um, glass heavy solutions. This is not anything new to Apple. I mean, it happens probably every time they build a new one, and they go, oh, I didn't think that maybe we should put some markers. Some can I can I can lines. I share with? But the eventually, it always ends up with designs. Can I share with them like a little trick that I came up with at my old place? I did have like, again, big sliding glass doors. And every time that I would get like a new iPhone and remember, remember when they used to have like those, those adhesive covers on them for display oh. purposes that had, I used to, I always used to put when I was, as soon as I, as soon as I signed for the package, I could, I was wrestling, wrestling to get to get to my office with it. I would peel it off, unpeel it and put it on the glass. And yeah, I think that's what that's what they should do. They should revive I have, the shipping iPhones with stickers. I have a suggestion. <laughs> now, what's your name? What say again? Seth. Seth, Seth works uh, in uh, Reading, Pens Pennsylvania, Reading, California, in the school district. There, he's installed many Apple computers going back to Apple two days, right? Many, many, many. He brought me exactly what Apple needs, which is some <laughs> rainbow Apple stickers. Yes. Right. Just put those on the windows, Apple. That would be, it would fit in. It would be beautiful. It would have some great memories. Seth, thank you. This is, look, at, and guys, if you want me to send you some, I will. These are amazing, including some little teeny ones. Those are cute. Aw. Apple, we mentioned last week, has uh, is re trademarked the rainbow. Uh, probably because they want to release, uh, they don't want to change just the logo. Stay one step ahead of me and Andy. We were about to go back <laughs> to that business. Yeah, really. Look at the little, these little ones. Are, what, did the, what did the little ones come from? Do you remember? He has a drawer full of they, them, apparently. I think they, they always had the, they always came with the, the big ones and the little ones. Really? I noticed that you have the original font, too. Yes. This is, this one must be an Apple, too. Look at it. Can you get a close-up of that? Because that's the original, this is the original font. So these, this is the one that has two big ones. I guess we don't have the overhead shot. This is the one with two big ones and two little ones. And it's the yeah, it's the old. What do you what, what what font is that? What do you call that font? It's a kind of futuristic font. Oh. It's what they thought the future would look like in yeah. 1978. 
<laughs> I used to pre Garamond. Yeah, isn't that cool? I love that's the one. Put that on the windows at Apple Park, or just these little ones. I can't wait to use these. This is this is Apple Vintage Day. This is six colors, Jason. Jason Snell. This is six colors. Oh, that's who I should give these to. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want want some, I'll put them in the mail to you. I have quite a few. And thank you, Seth. I appreciate it.